So here we are, it's another day, it's actually not raining today and once again we've set up the loop, hopefully get a contact on it today. Very conscious about trying to get my distance away from the loop when I'm transmitting. So we're going to use the Rode Oddity CS47, this little one-hander because I've done the power mod on this radio which you've probably seen on a separate video and I can choose 4 watts, 8 watts or up to 18 watts so I'm going to try 8 watts through the loop antenna they say it will do 20 but no way is that going to do 20 so I'm going to do a quick little audio check now just back to the uh, to the shed shack to make sure that the audio is not distorting so let's see how that sounds Audio check, one, two. Yeah, audio, one, two, audio. Audio check, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, audio. So that went quite well. It seems that the audio is quite clear. And yeah, that's it. This would be a kind of a setup if you was um, going to go out in the wild in the sticks and go DX hunting. So I've just got to wait now to see till someone comes on channel and uh, hopefully we get a contact. Got a perfect SWR today of one to one keying up and the needle doesn't even move so we're going to give Dan a shout and I'm really 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 hoping that this is going to work yeah Dan Hatfield Dan Hatfield do you copy Fred in the shed breaker on the side break on the side come in Hello Daniel, good afternoon. Oh, hello, where am I? How the devil are you? I'm very good. How am I coming over on FM this afternoon? Yeah, fine. Yeah, signal a bit lower than normal, but uh, yeah, it's uh, fine. Uh, good audio. Um, lovely microphone, man. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, how's your family doing? Hey, where's Fred? I thought he was coming on here. Uh, yeah, uh, that was your idea, Fred. Are you, are you there, Fred? Um, Fred in the shed. Yeah, copy, Dan. Copy, Dan. I'm here. I can hear you both. Uh, hopefully, you got a copy on me. Do you want to give him a shout there, uh, Steph? Fred. Fred in the shed. Are you out there, Fred? I'm out there, Steph. I'm uh, coming back to you. You got a copy on Fred there, Steph? Yeah, I just went on the 305 and I heard Fred say go down to the Muppets 30, so... Yeah, yeah, well done. Um, uh, Paul on the board, are you heavy, heavy more to this channel? Dan, I can hear you. Uh, Dan, you got a copy on me. I can hear you, no problem at all. I can hear you and Steph. Uh, I'm coming back to you. All in one thing. Right, you okay? We'll go back to 305 and see you a bit. So I could hear though them pretty clear actually. They're coming across Steph from Hemel Hempstead and uh, I was trying to get back to them. But unfortunately um, they just weren't listening. They, they were going over me so obviously I wasn't making it back and that was a bit disappointing. I could probably try and increase the power a little bit. But yeah that was a shame. I just couldn't quite get back to them. But they were certainly coming in nice and clear. I'll see if I can find them on your 305. Yeah, but I was trying to come back to you, but obviously you couldn't hear me. No, the uh, receiver seems to be working well then, but the um, transmit, uh, um, I think I could hear a little voice in the background, uh, in with a hash, uh, the white noise, but uh, and Steph, I thought you could pick up the old word, I think, uh, didn't you, Steph? Yeah, I thought I heard you come back to me, Fred, but uh, the, the over was so short, I couldn't, um, yeah, cheers Steph. No, I did give you quite a long over. I even tried um, pushing the power up a little bit on the radio. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, a little bit disappointed. As I say, the, the antenna was receiving really, really well on FM. Just couldn't get out. None of them could hear me. That was just sort of three of them on there. So I do need to try it onto side, on side. Well, I'm back up in the, in the shack. Bit disappointed, I'll be honest with you. I was hoping for instant success. It never happens in radio. I was encouraged, though, how clearly that loop was picking up FM. Normally, I get a lot of noise on FM being home-based and very little noise, and both Dan and Steph 
were coming across really really nice just didn't get enough power to get out however I did do some internet research yeah and this is so thread in the shed isn't it just 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 go for it loads of enthusiasm have a go run out of ideas and then do the research if you're watching the videos the way to do it is to sit sit down for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a vape or whatever and actually do your research first but I don't do it that way anyway did some research and they said on a uh, ham radio thread and bearing in mind no one on the ham radio thread is trying to get a uh, contact on the cb band on 11 meters 27 megs it's a notoriously hard band to work because everyone's using vertical antennas and everyone's got a lot of noise high noise level so no one's got a contact on 11 meters that i can see but one guy was um, trying to get it to work on 10 meters and he found that by raising the loop up on a pole, he, he, he found the sweet spot was uh, three metres, about ten foot from the ground. He found that his transmit signal was improved. However, the downside was that the noise level went up. And the consensus of opinion on that particular thread was the guys come back and said, yeah, will you, you know, your power will go up, but it's not really worth it because you're going to lose the clarity of the receive and that's fine but obviously i'm not getting out so i need to need, i need to get a bit desperate and i need that that's what i need to do so the next part of the video um i want to try on sideband because there'll be less noise on sideband and hopefully the guys might be able to hear me with a weaker signal i'm going to use my president grant 2 uh, this is the early version the mark 1 version now this radio is a little bit notorious for picking up a lot of noise it's not very clean compared to the 6900 but unlike the 6900 its maximum output power on sideband is 12 watts it's a legal radio but there's no carrier wave on sideband so i know with a carrier wave that that antenna took about 8 watts on that radio the tcb radio this on sideband is probably going to do about 7 8 watts just on modulation power but it will be quite noisy, but the loop should counteract that. So I think what I'll do is we'll go downstairs. I'll set this up on the loop, um, just on the tripod, and then I'll see if I can get Dan on the 305, bless him, and hopefully he can hear me. If he can't hear me, then we'll go to, to my plan two, and plan two will be to put up a pole and tie up the, uh, the loop about, well, 10 foot, 3 metres thereabouts, and then we'll go back to Dan and hopefully he can hear me. I really would like to get a contact on that loop. Um, I will be disappointed if it doesn't work, but I'm afraid that is radio. Anyway, enough waffling. It makes a change, doesn't it, from doing radio little reviews on little portable radios. But enough waffling. Let's get downstairs. Let's get stuck into it. And let's, uh, yeah, let's hope we get a contact. Typical, typical Fred in the shed. I forgot to press record on the camera for the setup. And I missed a chunk out. Let me just take you through what I've done. I've set the loop back up on the tripod about three and a half feet off the ground. I've moved it nearer the house, try a different area of the garden. Adjusted the uh, tune, tuning controls. I've got an SWR of one to one on the Grant 2. So here's the next bit when I try and make contact with that. Uh, right about uh, 4.30 times. Um, I might be on mobile, maybe, but... Um uh, anyway, um, uh, Mary had a little lamb, head, face was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, uh, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> um, well done, Dan. Long enough, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave it the break and see if you come back and see if you've got anything tuned in there. Back to you, Fred. Hello Dan, um, I don't know if you're getting me, I got you perfectly uh, queued in there, that was very, <laughs> very good over. So I'm coming back to you now, uh, 1664, London Coney, uh, coming back to you Dan, do you copy? Um, what we've got here, we've got a Yusil 450D and uh, we oh, yeah, have he a hadn't stopped. road uh, on a 22 foot pool, yeah, yeah, yeah. so are you getting anything tuned in, uh, back to you Fred? Yeah, I've got a copy, Dan. Uh, I'm tuned in now. Uh, that was a lovely over for me there. I'm coming back to you on the uh, on the 305. I don't know if you're receiving me, but uh, one, two, uh, one, two, audio, back to you. Yeah, Dan, coming back to you. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, uh, but uh, I'm getting some little noise here. Um, if you can hear me, um, can you come back? Um well, if, if you can hear me, uh, I'm receiving OK. Yeah? Can you try changing, go up one channel, the next channel up, um, 315. Um, 
if you've got a low transmission, I might be able to receive it on there. Um, I'm going up to the channel 31 now and see if I can receive anything. So give me the shout. Yeah, okay, Dan, uh, on 31, on 31, you get anything? 12 Audio 1664. Ah, I think I've got, I've got a Roger Sleep there. Um, this is 4428 calling from Hatfield. Um, uh, anybody receiving there? Come back. Yeah, 4428, 4428, 1664, uh, coming back. It's a very low down there, Fred, but I got, um, yeah, I got it. It's, um, yeah, just getting over the interference. Uh, it, it's, um, um, it's unfortunately it's, the frequency isn't clear today, but uh, well, I can hear your voice, but I can't quite uh, get all the words. I'm getting the odd word. I, I know you're, you're talking away there, and I can hear you. I can make out the odd word, but um, it's, uh, it, it's not very powerful there, Fred. I feel. Right, let me just go and talk to him on the uh, 6900, and I'm going to raise it up onto the pole. Right. <laughs> Check this out. This is so Fred in the shed, isn't it? Too much enthusiasm, not enough knowledge. So there it is, look. I got it up on the pole and I've estimated that's about three metres. Ten foot or thereabouts. Might just be a fraction higher. It's a little bit leaning to one side. But that shouldn't make any difference because it's obviously a circular radius, isn't it? Hopefully it will stay up there just for this test. And yeah, there we go. Very precarious. So I'm going to go on the um, radio, I'm going to go on sideband again and give Dan a shout and hopefully he'll be able to hear me. I mean, it's only six or seven miles. It's not very far. A lot more noise. A better signal, but it's bringing in a lot more noise. Yeah, copy down, copy down. Um, I'm getting you. Got a lot more noise though. Now I've raised it up a little bit. Uh, getting a lot of noise coming in, but I'm hearing you. And uh, getting back to you. Hopefully, you might be able to hear me this time. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 64, return. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit stronger signal there, Fred. You're definitely coming through. But yeah, you're still coming down. Well, I'm getting this crappy noise, um, which is something getting here in Hatfield. Yeah, I'm getting still getting a lot of noise, uh, a lot of noise. We could try um, FM on this frequency, and uh, as I say, I'll only be on four watts, but it might be a bit clearer. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah, Dan, yeah, Dan, you got a coffee? You got a coffee on Fred? Yeah, I've got you clear, cool. Yeah, I got you clear, Dan. I'm getting you about signal five or six. Oh, well, that's not bad, yeah. It's, um, your signal here, uh, without the pre with, with the preamble on, it's, uh, three to four. Um, but it's coming through with either field, so it's, it's not as clear as it could be, but it's, um, yeah, I can understand, yeah. Yeah, I got a copy. I'm getting that same crackle as you as you as well, Dan. Uh, it might just be something on the band. I've got a little bit of crackle coming through your audio, but I can definitely hear you wherever you were just saying. So I couldn't work. I couldn't get it to work on FM uh, yesterday. But I say I'm running. Well, it's only running four watts, so that's four watts on FM. And uh, yeah, very pleased with that, Dan. Back to you. with you Dan I'm probably going to call it a day because I've got to pack all this away <laughs> and it's getting near five isn't it and the good, and the good lady is going to be uh, coming home so I just want to thank you Dan for um, doing the radio check on me you'll be on the video as well and uh, just to say you really helped me out today and just want to say thank you Dan over
Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go down, Dan, because I say I've got, I want to try and put all this all this away now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say 73s to you, and I say once again, thank you very much for your help today. You've been very helpful, Dan. And uh, yeah, I'll try and catch you on normal radio a little bit later on in the week. And there we go. So conclusions with this loop antenna. What do I think? Well. I think that this is not an antenna for the beginners and I know I get a lot of beginners watch my channel and if you're thinking that perhaps you can get away with a small 70 centimeter loop antenna instead of putting up a full-sized home-based antenna like a silver rod or Antron 99 Game Master it's not going to work straight out of the box um, it's definitely I would call this an enthusiast's antenna it does need some tuning, which I show, showed on the other video. And even now, I've not got this set up to perfection. I really should be adjusting this different heights down the pole. It's obviously using what I think is Skywave. There's no real ground wave as such. It's, everything's going straight up. And yeah, it's definitely, there's a lot of adjustment. I mean, I, I can't, poor old Dan, I, I can't keep Dan on there all afternoon while I make adjustments. He's been very, very patient with me. So, not a beginner's antenna. If you're like me, and you don't mind getting your hands a little bit dirty, I mean, I'm just more enthusiastic and knowledge, you know that, if you watch the channel, but if you like to twiddle with things, and you don't mind going inside that antenna, and adjusting that little, um, those little tuning pots, you probably would need a nano analyzer to do that properly. But, I actually think, it's a good value antenna. I mean, it's about £70 UK. It's not expensive. And even just for the receive, it received really well on FM, even when it was low down on the ground. So even just for the receive quality alone, £70 isn't expensive for a mag loop antenna. And with careful tuning and adjustment and setting up, I think you could use it, certainly as DX. Does it replace... A vertical antenna? No, I, I think I would stick to a vertical antenna. If I was using this pole, I'd probably put a T2LT on there, I think. I'll have it a bit higher. But it's been a lot of fun over the last three videos, and now I've got to try and put all this together somehow and make a review, which is what I set out to do at the beginning. <laughs> it's been a bit of a trip, but I've had a lot of fun with it. And in the future, I think I will be experimenting with it. So there you go, from a very sunny garden. I'd like to thank you for sticking with these three videos. There will be a fourth one, but as I say, that will just be the final review for Banggood. But yeah, I'd like to say cheers. There's the thumbs up from Fred in the shed. I hope you got as much enjoyment out of the videos as I did playing about with that antenna and making them. And as always, I'd like to say thank you for your view time. If you get a second, just hit me a thumbs up down below. I'd appreciate that. But as for now, please, 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 look after each other, stay safe. Catch you on the next one, guys. Oh, yeah.